What is up guys and welcome to a special Undertale episode. This is going to be a follow-up for the first Undertale Secrets video I've done and this time I want to explore some mysteries and secrets surrounding the character Gaster. And we are actually only seconds away from me showing you guys what the first thing on my list is. If you start a new game, the game tells you to name the fallen human and there are some names you can enter which trigger silly responses. But I want to specifically show you what happens if you name the human Gaster. And what happens is you just get sent back straight to the intro, back to the beginning. And in a way, that is so spooky to me, honestly, because there's nothing else that happens. That's literally all there is. No explanation or anything, literally only this, and that was number one. The next thing involves the river person, and if you take a ride in the boat, the river person will say a random thing each time. It doesn't matter where you go to, so I'm just going to take a ride, and I'm going to wait for a specific thing the river person can say. It can take 10 minutes, it can also be the first thing they say. That is not the thing I want them to say. So yeah, I'm just going to keep riding along until the river person says a specific thing, and we will see how long it takes. Oh! Beware of the man who came from the other world. That is actually not the line I was looking for, but that's also interesting. I'm not even sure if that relates to Gaster, but it y you will see in a few minutes, that is so similar to what I was searching for. That's interesting. There we go. That's what I wanted. Beware of the man who speaks in hands. And that is actually very fitting. There isn't, I guess, any solid proof that this is about Gaster, but you will see later on in the video why this is so fitting. And that was the second thing I wanted to show you. We are in Temi Village, and I will admit that this next secret doesn't directly relate to Gaster, but it's still a pretty cool thing, and there were some theories that it did relate to Gaster. What we have to do is we have to buy a template and if we then exit out and leave Temi Village and go back to just Waterfall, we have to wait for an encounter with Temi and then I can show you what exactly I'm talking about. Yes! Okay, special enemy Temi appears and what we have to do now is we have to actually feed Temi flakes and instead of doing the obvious right choice of giving Temi some flakes, we have to select no. And this is what happens. And why I, oh my god, why I put this together with the gasser secrets? I believe there were some theories that that little theme that played was a gasser theme, a hidden gasser theme. But later people found this and figured out that this was just a silly little thing you can do if you encounter Temi. In the town of Snowden, if you go into the center and then go up to the place where later on in the game the river person will show up, if your fun value is low enough, the fun value is a number that is random for every new run. If this number is low, then you will get this encounter, this phone call, ring ring, hello, can I speak to G? And this right here, this is really the reason why people think that this is related to Gaster. Also because whether or not this happens depends on your fun value, and a lot of Gaster secrets actually do depend on this fun value. But if you continue here through this dialogue, wait a second, is this the wrong number? Then you will get this, the little song, and it's timed, it's timed to the music. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. And this just carries on until you stop it. So I'm not sure if this is actually related to Gaster or just a silly little secret that you might encounter on your playthrough of Undertale, but nonetheless, a pretty cool thing. Near the beginning of Snowden, up here there is a room with a fishing rod. However, if your fun value is 65 exactly, there is a chance 
that it will turn into something else, but it is only a chance, so I did not get lucky, so I will have to reset and try again until it happens. There we go. Welcome to the sound test. So this is something that can happen, this room can change into this. Listen to all your favorites, press left or right to select C to play a song. The first one is called Happy Town, which sounds like a loop of the same thing over and over again. Next one is called Meat Factory, which sounds also like a loop, an even shorter one. Okay, Trouble Dingle is the next one. Another loop. You can hear that it repeats all the time, but of course the real reason why we're here in the first place, the actual secret and why this is about Gaster. This is it, the iconic Gaster theme. And the creepy thing here is, even if you try to go back and play another song, you can't. As soon as you play Gaster's theme, you cannot go back and it will just play until the sound test ends. There it is. Thanks for your feedback, be seeing you soon. So that's the entire secret. A pretty nice thing, you can actually encounter this if you just play Undertale normally. But of course a very very important secret for this episode, because this is actually the only way you can hear Gaster's theme. Gaster's theme is leading up pretty nicely to this, because now we are actually getting into the direct references and information about Gaster. If your fun value is 61, you can go to right floor 1, and this is also a chance, it might not happen, maybe we're lucky and it will happen. Okay, no it didn't, so here, something should happen if we get lucky, so I will have to restart and try again. There he is, the first Gaster follower, as they are called. Alphys might work faster, but the old royal scientist, Dr. W.D. Gaster, one day, he vanished without a trace. They say he shattered across time and space. How can I say so without fear? I'm holding a piece of him right here. That was the first encounter, spooky. And he was talking in rhymes and talking a bit about Gaster's history. So he was before Alphys and something happened and his life ended. For the next Gaster follower, your fun value has to be 62 and you have to go to left floor number 3. And we will see if we are lucky this time, if it shows up the first time. No, of course not. We got unlucky, so I will have to reset and try again. Yes. It makes sense why Asgore took so long to hire a new royal scientist. After all, the old one, Dr. Gaster, what an act to follow. They say he created the core. However, his life was cut short. One day, he fell into his creation and... Will Elphys end up the same way? So, if we go outside, this Gaster follower will disappear. And this is so interesting to me and it actually confuses me because how do they even know about Elphys? Because Gaster, if Gaster was the royal scientist before Elphys, all these people shouldn't really know about Elphys because she only got the job after Gaster vanished. So that is actually weird to me. And the third Gaster follower can appear in left floor number two. And maybe third time's the charm, we will encounter this one on the first attempt. Nice, there he is, and honestly, this one is just the most creepy looking, just a huge head. I understand why Asgore waited so long to hire a new royal scientist, the previous one, Dr. Gaster. His brilliance was irreplaceable, however, his life was cut short. One day, his experiment went wrong and... Well, I needn't gossip. After all, it's rude to talk about someone who's listening. Alright, so it's the same here if we leave this place and go back, the head will be gone. And now, on second thought, that is actually interesting, because if it's true what this Gaster follower said, that Gaster is always watching or always listening, maybe it means that these Gaster followers and Gaster himself 
is maybe everywhere and maybe not all powerful, but maybe because their existences were lost in time and space, they can like see all the things, but they cannot be found. They cannot interact anymore with this world. It's definitely interesting to think about. We are back in Waterfall, and this is back where Undyne first chases us and throws her spears at us. And if your fun value is really extremely high and you happen to backtrack all the way to here, at the end of this, we will encounter a special character, a special person, and as far as I know, this is not a chance encounter, so this will actually happen every single time if your fun value is right. If you go back here, and we should be there soon, there it is. So at first glance, we can see that this looks very similar to the Monster Kid, have you ever thought about a world where everything is exactly the same, except you don't exist? Everything functions perfectly without you. The thought terrifies me. And that's all it says. And this is actually interesting to me, because if we think back to what the other Gaster followers have said, they are all talking about being lost in time and space, and basically not existing. And now we have this gray monster kid talking basically about the same thing. And it's not just dying and stopping to exist, it's literally as if you've never existed in the first place. However, there is a bit more this monster kid can tell us, but for that we have to go a bit further first. And with the umbrella in hand, you can get this umbrella a few screens further. If you just continue on past Onion Sun, you can get an umbrella, backtrack again, back to here, and bring it to the Grey Monster Kid. There will be some short new dialogue, which I think is pretty important. Everything about these gaster secrets, every little detail is important. If we talk now, an umbrella, but it's not raining. You know, that does make me feel a little better about this. Thank you. Please forget about me. Please don't think about this anymore. So, what I think, I have no idea, but what how it feels to me is since we have an umbrella and it's not raining, the umbrella is pointless. And I guess you can say in a way, its existence right now is meaningless. And that, I think, ties together pretty well with what the Monster Kid said. Think about a world where your existence is meaningless, everything functions perfectly, even without you. And I think, even though it doesn't rain, we still have the umbrella, it makes the Monster Kid better. And that's all there is. The Monster Kid will stay here, I guess, forever, and not be able to get back to this world. And we can't really do anything to help, which is super sad. And okay, we spent enough time hearing about Gaster, now it's finally time to meet the man himself. So if we go along this hallway here... Did you notice something? This hallway is actually not supposed to be here. That hallway only appears if your fun value is 66, and there's also a low chance that something else happens in this hallway. Obviously, it didn't happen, so I will restart and try again. There it is, the door that only appears sometimes. And if we go inside, brace yourselves. This person will be standing in the center of the room doing nothing. And if we also do nothing, nothing will happen. Nothing actually happens. We can still leave before it's too late. But if we decide to interact, he will vanish. And I guess again, there isn't actually 100% proof that this is the real Gaster, but pretty much almost everyone agrees that this is the one and only Gaster. And this is definitely worthy of being the secret that shows us the true royal scientist. Definitely very rare and very unlikely that you encounter this without actually searching for it. But I can imagine that if anyone actually encounters this randomly, they would be really freaked out.
And now there is only one secret left, which is definitely, I would say, the most special one and the most unique one, so get ready. Unlike the other secrets, this one you can't actually encounter just randomly. You do have to go into your files and change the room number. You want to get into room number 264 and as you can see, there isn't even any data available for this room. However, if we go inside, this happens. We get some text in Wingdings font and some very, very disturbing music in the background. I do have a translation here, so I will translate this text as it goes. Entry number 17. Dark, darker, yet darker. The darkness keeps growing. The shadows cutting deeper. Photon readings negative. This next experiment seems very, very interesting. What do you two think? And that is all he wrote. That is all what presumably Gaster wrote. And this also leads back to what the river person first said. The man who speaks in hands. The Wingdings font, this font, does have some hand symbols. So this led many people to believe that the river person did actually talk about Gaster. And also that this is about Gaster. And this little entry alone just created so many theories and ideas about that Gaster knows Sans and Papyrus. Who does he actually talk to? Who are those two people? Also that this entry is supposed to be in the true lab, but because Gaster was erased from existence, this entry also got erased from existence, and we now searched for it somehow with the whole Undertale meta knowledge, and we found it. It's interesting. There aren't really any answers for most of the questions, sadly, but in a way, this only makes more and more people interested and wanting to find out more stuff about Gaster, his history, and what it all means. But for now, this was everything I could tell you. Guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this little special secret episode for Undertale, and until next time, take care.